Hey guys, it's been a while. Uh, I've been working on putting together all of these different systems from the Traders Lab series into a more comprehensive and flexible approach to the market. So I'm going to try to make a hundred bucks on this account. Um, there's the here here are the rules that I have. Basically, what I what I have is I've got the uh, go for three risk twenty four super high probability from Traders Lab episode five, I believe. Then I have this other counter trend trading system, which I've modified from a two and 12 to a three and eight, because the percentages are about 88% chance of success if you do it this way. And you can make three ticks and only risk eight, which comes out to uh, after Basically, it comes out to about 3750 versus a risk of 100 at 88%, which is a positive edge. So let's think about this for a second while this is setting up. What I need is I need the market to, to touch this line, and it's not. And the fact that it's avoided, there it is. So now we are live. I'm in a live trading situation. And the next thing that I'm going to say is what kind of trade am I going to make? I know that overall, if this line is hit, then I have a, this week, I have about a 95% chance of success um, if either one of these lines is hit. So what, what I'm going to do is say, okay, what's the overall trend? And I'm going to take that trade towards the overall trend. But if it's not, then I'm going to use a different trade. I'm going to use the three and eight counter trade. But here's the problem. There is no overall trend. It's just sideways. Some news came out. It wants to go. And most people would look at this and say, well, you have an uptrend. Yes. But do we? If you look at this, we really don't. The markets are still kind of sideways. It hasn't broken out. So what am I going to do here? Well, I'm going to take the better risk trade and I'm going to do the three and eight, three contract. Now the risk that I have here is that it's going to pop up and it's going to shoot right through before it pulls back. But I know that this trade has an 88% chance of success to make me a quick hundred bucks before it breaks. The other thing that I'm going to look for is the market action. The market still wants, hold on. Ooh, I just in time. This might actually explode. Okay, so we're, there it is. Well, that was quick. 88% chance of success. Uh, here's the hundred bucks that I want to make. That was a lot faster. Than, I was hoping for more drama. I'll be honest because it makes for a better video. But he, okay, let's step back for a second. What just happened? Let me segment this out. My approach. My approach is you never take a trade, never take a trade that you don't know the probabilities of. That's approach number one. If you don't know the probabilities, you don't know anything. So your math doesn't work. Don't take that trade. So how do you know the probabilities? You pick an indicator. I've picked the Bollinger Bands and I've picked a certain distance away. What's the spread that's usually covered? So I can start doing some math. And so I know that in this position right here, this is hit. And since this is hit, this position right here is going to tell me that there is a 90 Three per, overall, it's about a 92 to 93% chance that I'm going to get three ticks on this way. And it's actually running 95 this week because I keep track of it, right? So I know the probability once this gets touched as long as the trade is live. And the trade is live by indicating the middle section right here. So if the trade is live and I know the probability, then I can make a decision. But then I filter it out. And I filter it out based to increase the probabilities. I filter it out based on a couple of things. What's the overall trend, which I mentioned, and what news came out today? What could be driving the market? And then the third thing is going to be what news is coming up because you don't want to be caught in a trade when the news 
might hit that might make sense. Natural gas, I don't care. It's not gonna move the market much. So then the second thing is I only want to trade the breakout trade with the trend. To identify the trend, I, I go back and I look over what happened overnight, what news came out, and what did we do at the open especially. We went down, we came back up, and we created this kind of box, and you can kind of see it right there. So we don't actually have an overall trend, which tells me that counter trend trading is going to work better because nobody really wants to go anywhere with the news. So the counter trend trading is going to actually work better. This is a nice little extension, 727. See what I did there? It's a nice little extension. Is there an economic release that is moving the market? No, it's 727. That information won't come out until 730 as we saw. It's still not gonna be that important, but it might short term move the market. Okay, so I know that I'm in a counter trend trading stance. That's why I put on the counter trend trade. So I still know that in that trade, and I'll make a, I'll make a trader's lab about this trade um, coming up, but that trade is an 88% chance overall of success. And so I know that my risk to reward is gonna be good if I put that trade on correctly. And that's what I did, and it took it, and it pulled it back, and it was an instant $100 on here. Now, I'm risking $300 to make that $100, but the, the risk reward is there, so I'm, I'm trading all three contracts that I can trade on this account. So that's what you saw. Now, as I go through this, the other things that I care about is the spacing if the market is in a sideways market and it wants to reach up then you have a better chance of success on a counter trend trade as long as the market is fluid i'm throwing a lot of information at you but this is important because when the market dies and you start seeing all these extra wicks and the market doesn't move kind of continuously um you just walk away you don't trade that market so you saw me make a quick hundred bucks and if anybody's still sticking with me like and subscribe and all of the other stuff that YouTube is supposed to say. Um, I should have a Trader's Lab video that clarifies a lot of this um, coming up. It just takes a lot of time for me to trade, develop, edit, record, all of this stuff. So bear with me on that. And uh, yeah, I'm going to continue trading for the day.